Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our JavaScript Playwright series. With this JavaScript video, we are going to talk about some more important methods of arrays. So far, what we have seen in the last chapter, if you remember, we have covered map, reduce, and filter. Before that, we have seen top 10 array-based questions also, like for each includes index, index of concat, slice, shift, push, pop, and everything. Now, there are a couple of other methods also, which will be really helpful when you design the things, when you write the any kind of manipulation you really want to do with the array, you can use it here. So let's create a new file here. And then here I'm writing, let's see, arrays methods dot js here. I think this file name is already available. So let's write array methods one dot js. Okay. Now we are going to talk about, for example, the first thing is that every is also very uh, helpful method in array. So for example, let's see array, every means check if all the elements in the array pass for a specific condition. It means each and every element in that array is going through the specific condition. If it is going through uh, and the condition is getting passed, then return true from here. So it means that every function will return a true here. Okay. Return true if all the elements of the, uh, in the iteration are true or not. So let's create one array. For example, let's see, I'm writing one let number, which is equal to some array, one, two, three, four, uh, five up to here. And I want that, uh, all these numbers are actually less than 10, which is actually true, right? Each and every number is less than 10. So without writing a loop and everything, how will you write it? Simple write number dot. And I'm checking with every function here and every function says that you have to give me a callback function. So in the callback function, let's say I'm passing one parameter E here, and then I'm using this particular arrow. And then I'm putting a condition that every E should be what? It should be less than 10 or not. If it is less than 10, then give me what? Give me a Boolean, like either true or false. So here you can check that E will is pointing to number. And every <clears throat> element in this particular number is actually less than 10 or not, e, which is yes. 1 less than 10, 2 less than 10, 3, 4, and 5 less than 10. And then you finally store it in particular variable. Let's see, flag variable. And then you just printed it on the uh, console, that console.log. And let's print a flag here. So let's see what is the output of this particular program. So I'll do one thing. Let me just increase the font size a little bit. And then I'm writing that is array. Uh, methods one dot js and it's returning true here. Wait, perfect. Now, for example, let's see one element I'm writing, which is a 30, but 30 is not less than 10. It means if any of them is not less than 10, then return false. So here you can see it's returning false. So this is a, such a nice function that on the basis of some condition that each and every element is satisfying that particular condition or not, we can simple check it here like that. Second is the opposite of every, the opposite of every is sum. Sum means check if at least one element in the array passes the condition, right? What if the condition, at least one element in the array passes that particular condition. So for example, let's say I'm going to create one more variable, let's see number variable. And again, one, two, three, four, five, I'm writing it. And on this particular number here, I'm writing one sum function over here. And same thing, some function will take one callback parameter, callback function with parameter with arrow that I'm writing. And then I'm putting a condition here. I really want to check that um, any of them, okay. Some means at least one element going through with this particular condition or not. So let's say I'm writing E modulus a uh, two, which is equal to equal to uh, zero or not. So check that any of them is actually giving me the remainder with the two as zero or not. So here you can see two and four, there are at least a uh, two elements are available, which is giving me the remainder with two with zero. And then I'm storing in this particular, let's see uh, FG variable. And then I'm just printing it on the console, the console dot log and FG. So what exactly it will give in this case, it will give you a true here. Okay. So you can see it's giving me two. Why? Because at least one element is available. Two is also available and four is also available like that. But let's see if I'm writing that uh, any of them is actually, um, let's see, any of them is 
greater than uh, 20 or not okay so greater than 20 or not and that's the condition that i'm writing it okay so not everyone is greater than 20 so in that case let's see it's giving me false or not so yeah it's giving me false so none of them got satisfied over here okay so like this also you can just simple write it here that any of the element then the third function that we are going to talk about is that the find method the find method is says what the find method means returns the value of the first element in the array that satisfies a specific condition it means in the given array you give me the first element that satisfies a given condition okay so let's write one variable or one array define it quickly so let's see i'm defining it let's see here i'm writing some a total array in this particular total array and here i'm writing let's see 137,9 whatever the numbers that we are having it and then here in this particular total array dot find method that i'm going to apply and the find method again says that you have to give me a callback function with e parameter or whatever the parameter that you want to write and then you supply with the arrow to what to the A specific condition, and then again, I'm writing. Let's see, uh, this modulus, uh, remainder with equal to equal to equal to a zero or not. So, which one is the first element in this particular array which is satisfying this condition? You can see that, uh, here one, let's see, two, three, seven, nine. So two is actually satisfying, and then it will return the the specific element of that. So let's see, I'm storing in this particular let. and then here i'm writing the first element fe i'm printing it and then same fe i'm printing it on the console also here okay so let's run and let's see what exactly it's giving to me so here it's giving me 2 over here because the first element it will go from the beginning 1 modulus 2 no 2 modulus 2 equal to 0 yes condition is satisfied immediately break it everything no need to proceed further give me the first element in the array which is justifying or satisfying this particular condition but for example let's see if i'm writing only 1379 and let's see i'm adding 135,7,9 and none of them is actually satisfying this condition because none of them is uh, with the two not giving me any remainder as zero that in that case let's see it should give you what it should give you undefined over here because i did not find anything so the default value of fe will be undefined will be given over here okay so let me just make it a 2 also then in that case it be uh, giving me a 2 here okay 2 because the first condition 2 got satisfied with that so this is also pretty simple let's write the fourth one index of method if you remember we have already seen let's talk about index of method once again and then we will talk about the last index of also for example let's see i have one array apple banana and mango okay and let's see i'm writing one more that uh, okay just a second okay so apple banana mango and uh, pear okay and then in this particular array i really want to check the index of a particular number for example let's see index of orange so index of orange it will give you what it will give you minus 1 here because minus 1 if not found so let's quickly print it console dot log index of orange what so i'm printing with the message index of str which is uh, index of orange so let's see i'm just clear the console it will give you minus 1 because orange is not available so that's what you can see it's giving me minus 1 but here i'm saying okay no give me the index of mango in that case the index of mango will be 0 1 and 2 it should give me a uh, 2 over here which is correct so this is your index of mango which is coming as 2 let me print with the same message here okay so this is fine index of we have already seen now let's talk about the last index of last index of method says what give me the last index of the specific element it means in the array let's see i have some duplicate elements and then i really want to check not the first index but the last element of that particular element in the array okay so let's create one more same let's see uh, here and here i'm writing the array name is for example fruits and in this particular fruits array and i really want to apply that fruits dot last index of what 
and I'm saying that let's see this apple is actually getting repeated two times apple here also and apple here also so this is zero this is one this is two this is three and this is four so tell me the last index of apple so last index of apple first it will go and check how many apples are there two apples and then give me the last index of apple which will give you the what is the last position of this particular apple okay so let's do one thing let's uh store it in some variable so let's see here i'm writing that last apple which is equal to this and then i'm printing this last apple also console.log and then print this last apple okay so this is zero one two and three and four so it should give me four over here so yeah the last apple is four so if you want to move this particular apple not from here let's see you are moving it here then in that case apple is coming at the second position so zero and one so index will be one in that case so it will not consider the first position it will always consider the last position so here you can see yeah it's coming one because this is zero and this is one okay so last index of method is also very useful then sometimes what you have to do you have to reverse a particular array how will you reverse it so let's say i really want to reverse uh one array so let's copy this particular array and uh, you just need to supply the array variables and let's write some some fr ts <clears throat> frts array name and you just need to apply that frts dot reverse and then it will just reverse and then it will reverse uh the order of the element and it will return another array or you can directly print it on the console also so let's just store i'll say a reverse of fruits which is equal to this okay reverse fruits and then i'm printing this particular reverse fruits on the console as well that is uh, console.log and the reverse fruits and let's see it's really printing in the reverse order or not so let's clear the console and run it so here you can see that yes pear mango banana and apple it's reverse order simple it's very straightforward now let's talk about another one is called the sorted array okay sorting on the basis of what sort the element in the place by default uh, alphabetical okay that lexi lexigo uh, lexicographic or you can say alphabetical order and uh, i really want to sort it alphabetically so in that case what you can do again let's create the same sometime let's say you are getting some product information or some different product so let's create one product array and number of products that i'm having it for example let's see macbook and then here i'm writing let's see imac then i'm writing that i have a samsung then i'm writing let's see one more let's see canon so these are the elements which are available let me remove this this comma doesn't matter here and let me remove this comma also from here okay this unnecessary comma that we added it really doesn't matter okay so i really want to do what i really want to apply the product dot sort sort this particular array so a product dot sort method you can write it and then when you sort it it will give you another array so or sorted array so you can store inside the let's see pro uh, sorted array which is equal to this and pro sort i'm going to print it on the console here so simple right let's see console dot log and the pro sort so it will be sorted alphabetically so let's run it and let's see so here you can see that yeah a b c d e f g h i then m then samsung so canon i make samsung but let's see for example i have some variables where with starting with some number also so for example let's see i have a one two three uh, test then what exactly it will on what basis it will do so let's run it again so see the one two three first it will pick the numeric part and then the alphabetic part and then let's see i'm writing some capital elements also so let's see i'm writing t-shirt here which is starting with t capital then in that case what will happen will it consider small letters or capital letters first let's check it again now you can see that one two three test the numeric one then capital letters and then the small letters it will pick on the basis of that okay so these are the seven more important functions that we have covered and uh, seven plus three plus uh, ten so i think 20 methods we have seen in the arrays 
that is like more than enough uh, for you to manipulate the data with array or to play with the array whenever you are writing any logic or any complex logic with the array. So that's all for this video. Practice it and let me know in case of any issues. Thank you so much, guys.